I'm just skipping all this. Yeah, to equity ratio, very widely used in banking, very widely used in financial management, treasury. Okay. To understand that, let's uh, have a look at this. We have shareholders funds of 100, bank loan of 100, debentures of 100, sundry creditors of 200. Now let me total all my libraries. Now our focus is debt to equity ratio, right? It means we have to segregate the debt, we have to segregate the equity. So my shareholders funds represents equity and this can be a composition of equity plus reserves and surplus. Whereas these bank loan, debenture, sundry creditors, all three put together represent outside liabilities which we call as debt. So here the ratio is debt to equity, that is outside liabilities divided by equity. If I make it as a formula, it's going to be outside liabilities divided by equity and if I calculate, I get 400 by 100. Now how I should express this? This 400 by 100, I can express either in times or I can express this as a percentage. If I express this in times, I can say 400 by 100, it is nothing but 4 is to 1. So what does that communicate? For every 1 rupee of equity, for every 1 rupee of equity, I have a debt of 4. So how to interpret this? Let's see. I have a debt equity ratio of 4 is to 1. It means my debt is 4 divided by 5. Because 4 plus 1 makes you 5, 4 divided by 5. So what do we mean by 4 divided by 5? 4 divided by 5 means we have 80% debt and equity is 1 divided by 5. So 1 divided by 5 makes 20% equity. 80% is debt and 20% is equity and it looks like this company has borrowed too heavily and just imagine there's going to be a small change in the return available as per the business model, then this business would suffer a lot. Okay, so the outside world will not accept this ratio because you are trying to run your business only with outsiders money. As an owner, you are contributing only 20% and you want outsiders to contribute as high as 80%. So what is the benchmark? Not the benchmark, I would say it's going to be threshold. It means maximum. So what is the level you should not breach in terms of debt equity ratio? The maximum is something like this, 75%, 25%. 75% can be written as uh, 3 by 4 and 25% can be written as 1 by 4. It means I can say the maximum ratio for your outside world is 3 is to 1. So you can have debt equity ratio maximum of 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1 means 3 by 4 is debt that is 75% and equity is 1 4 that is 25%. So if you're going to have a ratio something like this, 2 is to 1, it indicates that your debt is only two-third, right? When we say two-third, what is the proportion of debt? It is only 67% and equity is one-third and it works out to 33%. So here your debt is 67, your equity is 33 and the ratio is 2 is to 1. The bankers would simply they'll celebrate you because you have a wonderful capital structure and this is something which they love a lot. Okay, So you should not cross 3 is to 1, that's the threshold or maximum and this 2 is to 1 is considered as optimum, you have a wonderful ratio. Okay, So if you are working for any company, then if your company is achieving this ratio, then it will have lot of significance because this would result in a better rate of interest for the company easy sanction of loans, all those aspects, okay? And if the company is in this band, then this company is always subjected to high level of financial risk because your business is funded 75% by debt, so you have a lot of financial cost, fixed cost, and if there is going to be a small variation in, say, uh, market condition, then that is going to impact. That's why the bank has kept this as a maximum level. But I also understand there are some private banks who are a little aggressive, they even go up to say 4 is to 1. It means you can have 80% debt and 20% equity. Okay, So that's about debt equity ratio. The another way of expressing this is percentage where you can say that uh, your debt is 400, your equity is 100. So you can say the debt equity is 
400%. The debt is 400% of equity. Fine. Next.